In recent weeks, Manchester United midfielder Bruno Fernandes has been receiving some harsh criticism from the British press, with many stating that the Portuguese should no longer be the captain of Eric Ten Hag's team. This week, the debate was reignited due to the possibility of Case Miro taking over the captaincy from Bruno Fernandes. Former player Gary Neville was one of the harshest critics of the Manchester United star, questioning his decisions as team captain, I'm tired of him throwing his arms up at his teammates, I'm tired of him not running back. He complains about everyone. He has to show the performance of a captain and that was not the performance of a Manchester United player, said the former Red Devils defender. Case Miro is touted by the English press as the favourite to take over the captaincy. This talk started after the thrashing suffered against Liverpool. However, on that occasion, Eric Ten Hag chose to defend Bruno Fernandes and keep him in the role. If you want to keep up with all the latest news and updates on Manchester United, be sure to subscribe to Man UTD News channel and leave a like. In other news, Bruno Fernandes may lose his position as Manchester United's free kick taker after the arrival of Marcel Sabitzer, who has been impressing with his set-piece skills. According to Express, Eric Ten Hag may give the Austrian opportunities on free kicks. Sabitzer is currently on loan at Manchester United, with the English club reportedly studying the possibility of signing him permanently from Bayern Munich. However, Bruno Fernandes may not give up his free kick duties easily. Former Red Devils player Rio Ferdinand stated that the Portuguese would not accept giving up responsibility for some set-piece situations, I think Bruno gives up penalties, but he won't give up free kicks and corners. The free kicks in the box, he will score, I think. His record demands he does that, commented the former defender on his YouTube channel. And now for some financial news. Manchester United reportedly owes a staggering £969.6 million in gross debt, bank loans, and outstanding transfer fees. The club released its second quarter results for December 31 on Thursday, and the enormous debts could provide an obstacle before any possible acquisition. The club's executives are currently undergoing a strategic review based on how to meet the club's long-term capital investment needs, focusing on improvements at Old Trafford and the club's Carrington Training Complex. But the amount owed by the club increased due to changes in exchange rates, pushing the sum up to £535.7 million, from £477.1 million this time last year. A cost of £227.7 million is due in outstanding transfer fees, while £206.2 million has been drawn from a continuing credit line. The club had £31 million in cash, but the total value remains just shy of £1 billion. According to BBC Sport, the figures cited are due to a stretched financial situation that has begun to improve thanks to heavy matchday revenues and season ticket sales. Manchester United reported profits of £6.3 million in the quarter and revealed that sponsorship revenue increased 43.2% to £50.4 million in the previous three months. The club revealed that the increase was due to its training kit deal with Tezos, as well as a one-off sponsorship credit that they did not detail. Salaries fell from £20.4 million to £77.3 million, a drop of 20.9%, aided by the departure of Cristiano Ronaldo and no Champions League football. Don't miss out on any updates and subscribe to ManuTD News channel now and leave a like.